So let's look at today's project. I got the skid steer and this is the problem area. <laughs> well actually the problem area is down here. This is as close as we could get the rock. So doing this for a friend of mine. I got three loads of ABC, two loads of processed fill, and a load of number four stone. And as you can tell, this driveway goes through a very wet area. So, all we are trying to do is get it accessible so that the contractors can finish building the house back here. So, it's not going to be the prettiest in the world, but it's going to be a patch to kind of be able to get through this wet area. Here's one right here. I'm going to come in here and undercut this out. And all they need is access for about another month to be able to get the house finished back here. So I'm going to regrade all this out. But the main problem is down here in this other low area. That's the builder's mini. I think he was having to pull people out with it after they got stuck. So, what uh, I'm going to do is come down here with the skid steer and undercut this out. I got fabric. I'm going to roll some fabric out. I've got that number four stone, that bigger rock. My plan is to put that down and then cover it with the process fill and then top dress it with ABC. And I'm going to try to cut a little bit of a, maybe a swale on this side to get the water where. Probably going to need to eventually put a pipe in here, but at least get it where it's channelized to one area versus everywhere so as you can tell that's the uh, main problem area I'm gonna try to get that cut out and addressed see what I can do all right so this is the first problem area I'm going to take and undercut this just push the mud down there for now and roll some fabric out go ahead and put some rock in and then I'll find a spot down there kind of on the tree line to uh, spread that mud out and get rid of it.
All right, got my fabric rolled out. Well, I undercut it, then I rolled the fabric out, got it stapled down. It's one of those things you can dig out as much as you want, but eventually you just got to stop because you'll get below the water table and it'll just never dry out. So the fabric, it'll kind of help bridge across it. What I'm gonna do now is take that bigger rock, kind of build a base, grab a little of that process fill, put on top of it to kind of lock it all together and then some ABC. But I'll do the process fill and then I'll, uh, once I get that rest of that rock moved and the process fill in the other hole up around the curve, then I'll top dress all this with the ABC. All right, move a little rock.
So I hope that kind of made sense. As you can tell, I rolled the fabric out and then I put the bigger rock on it. What that'll do is kind of help bridge across the fabric will bridge and then the stone will kind of help disperse the weight too and bridge across the uh, softer material as well. And then I put that fill over top of it and that'll kind of help interlock all the rock. And then I put the ABC on top and that's what packs real good. And that should allow the water to run off versus soaking in. And I'll kind of put a crown on it that way the water will run that way and then that way. It won't be much, but it'll be enough where the water either go to this side, then go under the road under that pipe, or then drain off on that side. So I'm gonna get another bucket full or two and uh, cover that up, cut the fabric off, and then go down there and work on that hole because that is really the troublesome spot. I wanna make sure I put as much as I can down there and then I'll use whatever I have left right here. So I got most of the mud scraped out. I got a uh, run out of fabric, but I got another roll. I'm going to put a little rock down. That way I'm gonna grab the other roll with the skid steer and bring it down here and then roll it out. So the uh, power trench runs right down the center of the driveway. So that's kind of a wet area. So I just kind of got to like straddle it with the road so that pretty much the weight of the trucks are going on either side of it. And hopefully it won't mire down too bad. All right, let me get a little bit of rock and uh, start bridging across this. 
All right, I got this covered and rolled out uh, the rest of the fabric to get through the bad spot. I'm gonna get the rest of this big rock, put it down, bring the process fill up here, cover that up, and then top dress it all with ABC. Hopefully that'll uh, hold it for now. That's all the uh, budget wood would stand, so hopefully that'll uh, make it passable. Taking some ABC down here now. I got all the rock put in, the process fill put in. Now I'm top coating it with ABC. You can kind of see the crown I'm getting put in that. And I should have enough to go all the way down there to the end of the fabric. And then a little bit of rock. There's a there's a low area right, right past that stake where the water from this field is going to have to drain across. And I'm going to put some of that rock in there and just track it in so that hopefully that'll kind of stay solid and still kind of bridge across it even though that water from this field is going to have to run across the road. machine loaded up got all 120 tons of this stone put out it's not the prettiest in the world but it'll serve a purpose and that is to regain access back to the back so they can finish up the house so I got all that put in it was a little painful having to tote all this stuff down here but the truck wouldn't have made it back here without getting stuck and there was nothing here big enough to get a stuck dump truck out so therefore it was not worth the gamble of burying the dump truck right here to save a little extra time having to shuttle that back there so I filled in this wet spot which went to right here put fabric down then I jumped over this spot because it seemed like it was good enough It's still, uh, it's still going to need some rock, but I think it'll be fine for now. And then the main focus was down here on this major wet spot. And I put about, probably about 80 to 90 of those tons here. Let's see, where did I start my fabric? Started my fabric right here. Run it all the way down. Put the rock the fill and then the ABC on top and I uh, left a swell right here so that this water off this field can run through here and I left a couple bucketfuls of rock to put in there and that'll kind of pack in there and hopefully uh, get pretty solid so here's all this as you can tell I got it kind of got it crowned so the water will run off each side and it'll it's high up enough right here so that this water will run down that edge and then across that way it can't sit up here on this road so hopefully that will do the trick